Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video to let everybody know um, and answer questions basically about the fall update. We are 24 hours away from the fall update, okay? November 12th, tomorrow, Thursday, pretty much everybody agrees is the fall update for everyone. And I'll be posting a lot of videos tomorrow about how the upgrade process went on all of my machines, 32 and 64 bits. And of course, if there's any problems, anything that happens, I will try to find solutions for everyone. Now, I've had a lot of questions in the past two or three days, so much so that I think it's worth it to uh, just post a video to explain to everyone what the fall update will bring. And, you know, a lot of you are scared of the fall update for, okay, it's a big update. Am I going to be lost or everything? So first things first, fall update, how will it be available? A lot of people think, oh, we'll have to download something. And it's like, no, the fall update is coming through Windows Update. So tomorrow, at some point, probably somewhere around 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern Time, if you check your updates in your computer, you'll see something appear that's going to be called a fall update. It's not going to be called Threshold or anything. That was the code name. It's not the code name that's going to be used. So um, the fall update will be in your Windows Update. So it's just going to show up as a regular update. This week we had a cumulative update for Windows 10 and that's how it is going to show up. Except it's going to take a lot longer to install. So instead of taking maybe 5 or 10 minutes, it might take 15, 20, 30 minutes to install on your machine. Because it's a bigger update than usual. It might even install itself in a different way. Um, Paul Tarot of the uh, Tarot.com website was mentioning on Windows Weekly that maybe it's actually even going to show a little that that circle with you know the install percentage it's possible that that happens but don't worry once it's installed you know what you'll go to your regular desktop check out your menus and everything and the first thing you'll notice is that there's not a lot of changes you might not even see any changes what will change of course because of the new way Windows 10 works maybe the colors of your tiles in the start menu. Uh, you'll notice that, you know, File Explorer has uh, different icons. You'll see that uh, depending on what you're using, you know, your um, windows might have uh, colors that weren't there before instead of the just drab white everywhere. There's a lot of little things like that. Um, one of the things that happened this week is somebody telling me, okay, I looked at your video with you know what all the changes finally there's nothing new yes there's something new there's more than a hundred if not 200 little changes in Windows 10 that if you go through it you'll see that they are there and they've they are new there's a lot of changes in the context me context menus for example people were uh, saying that the context menus for certain items had 30 different ways of saying the same thing well, now it's like there's just two or three ways of saying the same thing. They're trying to really pin down and have a more consistent experience. Um, of course, you won't see that it's a new Windows 10. It's just an update. It's like a service pack. You know what? In Windows 7 and Windows XP, service packs, just think about it for a second. Service packs were not uh, big experience changers in Windows. They were just service packs. And that's what this update is more about. Kind of a service pack. What it's going to change? Well, tomorrow, if you look at your Windows version, you'll see that actually, right now, pretty much everybody that is a regular Windows user is on version 10.0, build 10.240. After the fall update tomorrow, you'll be pushed to version 15.11, build 10.586. Version 15.11, meaning 11 for the month, November, 15 for the year, 
2015. So it's going to say the version is for November 2015 and the build is the latest build 10586. The copyright notice here on 2015 will change to 2016. We're close to that year. So that's going to change. Apart from that, there will be uh, going to be like, you know, thousands of little bug fixes here and there, updates to the major apps that you're using, stuff like that. But overall, okay, don't be scared of that update. It won't really change anything to how you handle, how you work in Windows, and the compatibility of stuff. If not, you know what? It might even improve stuff. People that want to upgrade, people that just upgraded, might find the experience even more interesting. For people that ask me, okay, so that's the last version, and finally it's finished, it doesn't exist. Windows 10 is not a finished operating system in the sense that it's a Windows as a service. It will always be updated. We'll have Redstone in June. We'll have Redstone Update 2 in October next year. Windows 10 is not like the past operating systems. It is a new way of thinking of Microsoft. And for those that say, well, you know, I think Windows is not finished, it is finished. Windows 10 was actually very stable. A lot of people complain about problems. And you know what? I see it on my channel. I get tons of problems that are very, very specific to a machine. Not necessarily a Windows problem more of a technical glitch because of a bad driver on your machine because some kind of hardware problem on your machine you know some people think that windows is a big problem because their machine crashes all the time they just don't realize that maybe their laptop maybe their desktop has a electronic glitch that actually is a problem you know what we buy a hardware from a, a vendor and we think no no it's new, it can be bad. Yes, it can. A lot, you know, I'd say 70% of everything that people told me in the past month of problems they have, I can't fix. It's very, very specific to your machine. And then people come at me and say, oh, well, if you search on the web, you see that Windows 10 has tons of problems. It doesn't. Windows 10 is very stable and is a very good operating system. It doesn't have a problem. It's as stable as Windows 7, if not more. But the thing is, when you got 140 million people that actually upgraded, even if half of a percent of these people have problems, that makes a lot of people that want to complain about it. And you know what? If we look on the web, we never see satisfied customers talking about how good the service is. All we see is always how bad something is because it's only the ones that have problems that will complain and vent out their frustrations. And it's normal. When something doesn't work right, we're not happy. The problem is in Windows, a lot of people are pointing Windows for a problem and Windows is not even the problem that they have. So, you know, it's a very complex issue, and I know I'm going to have some hate mail just because of what I just said. But that's true, and as a tech, a tech guy, I can tell you, I've been going through thousands and thousands of computers, and I can tell you that people are mad about the wrong things 90% of the time. So, okay, that we got to be careful. It's like the first thing, everything, every time something happens bad in a computer, the first thing every a client tells me, is, oh, I got a virus, works, you know, you know Windows, I got a virus. No, you don't have a virus. There's no viruses in your computer. It's just that this is not working right. And it could be you, it could be the manufacturer, it could be a driver, it could be a lot of things. So, Windows 10 is going to be there. Don't be afraid. It's going to take a little time to install, probably. But it's going to push your Windows 10 operating system to a new level and, um, you know, help in making it more secure, more interesting. And, uh, you know, if we look at the future, where it's going to be kind of more interesting is the Redstone update. That update promises to 
almost rewrite completely in Windows 10. And there is going to be much more to see there than there is right now. So we are 24 hours away from the fall update. Don't worry, it's coming through your Windows update and everything's going to be fine. Probably going to be okay. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, problems, anything you want to know, let us know. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. It helps us in the ratings. And thank you for following us. And tomorrow we will be here talking about Windows 10 fall update. And uh, if anything happens or if there's any new things or news, of course, we will be the first to be here and talk about it.